Here you see a macro recorded by Macro Recorder. You can use our separate uh, productivity solution Phrase Express to trigger such macros by pressing a hotkey or by entering an auto text shortcut. To do this, simply press Send to Phrase Express. Then give the macro a short meaningful name. And Phrase Express now starts the process to create a new item in the Phrase library. Phrase Express treats the macro recorder recordings just like a regular phrase in Phrase Express. So you can give it a name or use this uh, name you just entered. And under hotkey, you define the keyboard shortcut you wish to use to trigger the macro. For instance, Control Alt S. Or enter a shortcut or enter an auto text shortcut to trigger the macro. Or test. You can store the macro in any folder of your Phrase Express phrase library. For example, in the folder Special Functions. If you press OK, the macro will be transferred and stored in your Phrase Express library. Let's review that. I close Macro Recorder and open Phrase Express. And here in the folder Special Functions, you see the macro token we just created. To review or edit the Macro Recorder recording, just double click the token. This will open Macro Recorder, and here you can do the changes. And if you're fine with that, click here to close Macro Recorder, and the changes will be transferred to Phrase Express. And again, stored in the Phrase Express database. Of course, you can also relocate the phrase in any other folder of your phrase library. You can also add additional text, which will be entered following the macro execution. Or you can insert other phrases, just by drag and drop. By the way, you can see the hotkey association and the auto text. Okay, let's try it out. The macro will open the Windows Explorer and will shift it from left to right. Now I press Ctrl Alt S. This is the automation. The physical mouse has not been touched now. That's it.